In today's video, I got three of the big dog penny stocks for y'all today. Happy Saturday, happy weekend. You don't wanna be sleeping on these penny stocks in the next bull run that is right around the corner, and we have already been killing it. We already been starting to feel the penny stock market heat up, and if you are new to this channel, subscribe right now. It's about to get crazy, and I may have found who the next acquisition candidate for ticker F-E-R-N, and drop a like on this video to spread the word about the three big dogs, and turn on the notification bell, because the next couple alerts here are gonna be alerted soon, and they're gonna be crazy. They're gonna be bangers. And there's a link down below to the private Discord. You've got Rombo in here showing off his live day trades every single morning. And there's also a alert room in here for the next penny stock runners. Big dog number one ticker F E R N, $41 million market cap, currently sitting at 0219 right now. We're gonna be covering some speculative information on what the upcoming acquisition could be that is set to be complete by November 15th. But before that, Fern rose up 17% yesterday, 50% last week, and 120% in the past month, and up 600% from when we first covered it at 003. We knew it was going to be a banger at those levels, and look at us now. There seems to be nothing stopping this run to all-time highs of 027, and the next price level I am looking at is at the all-time highs, okay? If we are able to break that all-time high of 027, we are in blue sky breakout mode, and we could could see insane levels, but this is my opinion and none of this is financial advice. There has been multiple big buys of Fern recently, even at these levels, these two cent levels, whales are loading up because they see what is coming just like we see what is coming. And from these big buys alone, that totals up to 22 million shares of Fern just bought recently. Yes, 22 million, and that is $500,000 of Fern shares. And this is just a small portion of the huge buys I've been seeing recently. I don't expect this to slow down anytime soon with the acquisition right around the corner. So if you are new here, Fern signed a letter of intent to acquire an institutional crypto trading platform and plans to officially complete this by November 15th, which means on or before that date, but we don't know what this platform will be yet. And that is why we're gonna be looking at some speculation and you're gonna like this a lot. I'm sure you are. One of the companies that it could be is Talos. On the front page of Talos website, it says, Talos is removing the barriers to wide scale crypto adoption by providing buy side institutions and service providers with technology infrastructure that powers the full trade life cycle. Talos is a digital asset trading company which serves banks and hedge fund and is based in the United States. And in the Fern press release about the acquisition, it said they are going to be acquiring a institutional digital asset trading company serving banks and hedge funds. So look at that. It's starting to line up here. And they said the company they're going to acquire is based in the United States. So, so far, it's looking like it's matching up. And Fern said this acquisition is going to have a top-notch executive and management team and a board that comes from the most prolific financial institutions and corporations in the world. And Talos has designed and built a trading system for the largest financial institutions, while our advisors have held trading and technology leadership roles at some of the world's most prominent asset management firms. So this is starting to match up even more. And Talos has that top-notch management team, like Fern said the acquisition would come with. And you can see, look at this management team. This is straight from the website. You've got multiple members in this team. And Fern said that this platform that they're going to acquire will bring bridge the gap between cryptocurrencies and the more traditional trading platforms, and Talos is uniquely positioned to bridge the gap between the crypto and capital market communities, and their product is becoming essential for any serious institutional traders. So Talos checks almost all the boxes from the Fern press release about the next acquisition, such as an institutional trading platform based in the United States, banks and hedge funds, top-notch management team, financial institutions, and bridge the gap between crypto and trading platforms and a lot more that actually does end up connecting here between the two between the PR that Fern put out telling us a little bit of details about the next acquisition and then you got Talos that is matching all of these details and then Fern gave us a list of the goals on July 29th and they say they would complete them all by September 30th which is about 19 days away and so far they're doing very well in keeping all of the promises and they have already entered into an LOI with another acquisition we just talked about that 
They said they're going to align themselves with institutional investors. We haven't heard about that yet, but maybe we will very soon. Launch a multi-channel marketing plan to quickly scale Perfect Mind's client base. Yes, they have done this. They said in the most recent PR that they will be relaunching Perfect Mind. And what is going to come with that relaunch, in my opinion, is provide new features, functionality, tools, and partnerships for Perfect Mind. So this step right here is not complete yet, but it will be complete very soon. And something that's in this PR is NFTs. NFTs are hot right now. If firm starts making PRs about NFTs, I mean, this is going to run absolutely crazy. We got NFTs, we got crypto, we got green mining pools. Fern has it all, and they only have two more steps to complete by the end of this month, and they should easily be able to get this done. They stated in previous PRs that they would be relaunching Perfect Mind in the next couple weeks, so that's going to be in the next couple weeks, and that is also another catalyst you can look out for. Next stock we're talking about, ticker ILUS, 15 cent right now. I can't even believe that I'm saying this is at 15 cent. It was up 8% the previous trading day. It's up 50% in the last week, 210% in the past month, and almost 300 hundred percent since we have been covering it at the four cent range and I'll pop a picture on the screen yes I was still on this at four cent not many were and all of the explosive price action has been without the major catalysts that are right around the corner including 20 initiatives ongoing right now including 10 acquisitions in review globally looking to wrap up the first phase of the new stock structure by next week and they're still on track for that early 2020 Nasdaq and they stated they have specialists on their team that have a very clear path to achieve this that's impressive astronomical government involved deal expected any day now planning a large acquisition of a significant global company which will have 50 million in revenues in approximately six to nine months that is very impressive they have an agreement was signed with a german drone company already signed and they also have a drone partnership with melanion we'll probably hear more about that soon and an ongoing partnership with melanion on the e-raptor and they have a vr partnership with take leap and that's all ongoing so there's a lot coming up for Islas. i'm very impressed with what we have seen lately and they said just yesterday we have big announcements coming over the next couple weeks. Stay tuned for official press releases with acquisitions tag and also deals. So you guys know what's coming. Many of the catalysts that we've been talking about on the channel are very close to being officially announced. And I personally believe that this is just the start for Eyeless, especially with the outstanding share reductions happening at the same time multiple catalysts are coming in and at the same time that the penny stocks are starting to get very hot. This is just a start. Let's see what's happened with Eyeless. I think we're going to go crazy. Now we're going to talk about ticker CYBL0133 right now, $72 million market cap. CYBL is up over 1,500% since we first talked about it on the channel at 0008. And I strongly believe we have much more room to run from here. I really do believe that. Paint current will be in place any day. And I do see a very good day when we get pink current now because of how much anticipation has been built up around getting pink current recently since there has been some delays. CYBL has government contracts and we have several catalysts right around the corner and most of these will be announced after pink current is achieved and we got this news yesterday. The team has been hard at work on the next acquisition in the pipeline and we expect to share over the next four to six weeks after CYBL just acquired a drone company on August 31st. They already have plans for another acquisition in four to six weeks and I expect a lot of news and press releases in between this acquisition leading up to the acquisition to build this hype. So yes, I am very strong on CYBL still. I expect strong moves weeks after after we do get pink current. So look out for pink current. I know it's been, you know, a long time coming, but it will come. I'm confident in that. If you want to hop in the private discord, thousand percent runners link down in the description below in the top pin comment, go ahead and say, what's up.